today I'm going to show you the pruning method uh, to encourage branching and uh, how I repot my fiddle leaf fig. So to begin with, uh, there are two types of fiddle leaf figs. So one is with uh, multiple branches like a tree and the other one is like mine, a single stem. So there are three ways you can encourage branching. Pinching method, which is uh, removing the bud right here. So another method is notching, where you would make a cut on the stem. And the last one, it's the pruning that I am uh, going to do today, which is basically clipping off the stem. I've finally mustered courage to take the step of pruning. I hope I do it right. Wish me luck. Okay, I've sterilized the pruner and I would like the branches to grow probably at this height. So now let's make a cut at an angle between the nodes. Ooh, that hurt. So you will see the sap coming out of this. Make sure you wipe it off because it's irritant on the skin and it's poisonous to babies and uh, pets. You can either use water or soil propagation method for the stem cutting. I went with water propagation. I removed a couple of leaves uh, that were down here and now I am dipping this on a rooting hormone. Place it into the container with uh, warm water or room temperature water. Place the cutting in the bright indirect sunlight. So you know it's time to repot when you see roots coming out of the holes in here it is suggested to repot every one to two years in spring when they start their growth phase it's early summer here so it should be fine i got a 12 inches pot and this is a three inches larger in diameter than the previous one also plan to repot the day you plan to water so it's dry as uh, roots tend to be sensitive when moist. Carefully loosen the roots. I added cactus soil at the bottom for a better drainage and used all-purpose potting mix. So make sure the top of the root ball is at least an inch um, below the pot rim for the growth. And water as usual. Another thing I wanted to point out was uh, about a month ago, my fiddle leaf fig was uh, too weak to stand on its own and was um, leaning to the wall for support. Some people use stick for support, but I learned a technique where you would just wiggle the stem for about a minute or two so basically i did it every day or when i remembered and i saw the change drastically within a couple of days when my stem started to turn brown and uh, it was still leaning a bit but it was standing on its own hope you liked the video stay tuned for the update on the growth Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you.